up guys Ricky here it's Friday um, it's almost five o'clock everybody's starting to wind down but I'm just getting started so real quick I wanted to break down exactly what it takes to succeed in real estate and everything you need to really know mindset wise the first thing is is that closings are happening every single day in your market look at your MLS closings are happening every single day so it's not a market problem it's a you problem right and if you're new trying to figure it out that's tough because closings are happening you don't know how to do them and you don't understand why you're not a part of all these closings that are going on so the second part is you gotta realize who are doing all these closings right who are the prospects who are the clients how is this happening to me property owners are the highest quality prospects they buy and sell right when I quit chasing buyers for buyers and I started chasing owners for, for buyer leads that's when my business really started taking off I started to understand the concept of the fact that owners aren't just sellers they're also your best buyers so we understand that property owners are the highest quality prospects and closings are happening every day so how do we become part of these closings just based on this information well the first thing is you have to realize is that this business is relationship oriented so in the beginning of my career, I was too transition, transaction based. I valued the transaction over the relationship. I just wanted to do deals. And that's how most of the training is out there for real estate agents right now. It's just based on trying to do deals, trying to handle objections, trying to set the appointment, trying to you know close the deal, get the contract signed. I think that that is the, the, the worst angle. I think that that's just bad advice to go after a deal, to close the deal. I don't think that's the way to go. I think the way to go is, is to focus on the person, focus on the relationship, um, and find out why they're wanting to do the things that they're trying to do, and see if there's a real connection between you and them. That's the big thing you're trying to do, is figure out if there's a connection and, and make them feel comfortable with you as a real estate agent who's going to work hard, protect their best interests, be dependable, answer your phone, and do all the little things that you need to do to make the transaction go smooth, right? So how do we go from point A to point B, right? From where we are to a closing. The first thing we have to realize is that conversation is the key to all closings. There's no okay, closing in the history so of real estate that didn't originate from a conversation. Now, I think social media is a brand builder, not a lead generator. You can, you know, post a listing and then have a landing page set up to capture people's information and then follow up with them and all this and all that. But what if you posted something that told everybody in your area how much you actually cared about people wanted to take care of them you don't really care if they want to buy or sell you just want to be there for them if they do decide to buy or sell and you want to handle the transition transaction and make sure it goes smoothly for them and that you'll go over the top to make sure that everything goes really smooth it's your reputation right if you use social media as a brand builder for a better reputation than just a lead generator look at what happens You'll, you'll affect and impact thousands of people instead of hundreds of people that actually clicked on the information, put their email address and contact information in. You're going to get hundreds of leads that way, sure. Maybe not even that much, but you can actually impact thousands of people if you say something impactful on social media and then boost that to the entire area. That's how I handle social media. So I've seen it both ways. I've thought about it every which angle there is. And I think that social media is a brand builder. I think that the business, building your business, should be done over the phone, voice to voice. Right? And so we know property owners are the highest quality prospects, right? So property owners are the highest quality prospects. So my question to you is, is can you call every single property owner in your area ever? And the answer is no. You cannot call every single property owner in your area in your lifetime. You can never do it. And I would love to see somebody try and do an experiment and see if they can actually make it happen, but it'll never happen. And even if you were to make it happen within 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 
you would have to start all the way over because 20, 30, 40 percent of the property owners have changed hands and now you have a, new, a whole new batch of owners. And at the end of the day, your success is predicated on how much can you handle. After you've made X number of calls, you have so much business going on, you can't even make any more calls anymore. Right? That's the point I want all of you guys to get to. To where you've made so many calls that you can't make any more calls because you're so busy closing deals. Right? And the hard part is transitioning from making the calls not have anything going on to making the calls trying to find time because you're getting a little busy and still making the calls that's the hard part you gotta power through that you got a time block you gotta make it happen until you get to the top of the mountain where you've built a monster of a database that's paying you dividends and dividends and dividends through referrals past clients and so on and so forth so you can never call all the property owners so if property owners are the highest quality prospects and there's an unlimited amount of them as in you can never call them all ever then why would we focus on any other prospect there is out there in today's world there's too many things getting thrown at us about you know try this try that try this app try this website this is how you get leads this is how you do this you're gonna make a million dollars it's all BS the only reason why technology hasn't replaced real estate agents is because there has to be that voice to voice contact between you and the buyer or seller so take advantage of this and use social media as a brand builder and use it to initiate that conversation don't use it to try to close them right use it to initiate the conversation through the fact that they understand what you're all about and you've built a brand around your name as a hard-working dependable professional agent right so this is basically the foundation of how to be successful in real estate um, closings happen every day. Conversation are the, is the key to all these closings. Property owners are the highest quality prospects and they are unlimited. There's no way you can talk to all of them. So why not call as many as you can all day long and find out who connects with you. What owners connect with you the best? What owners like you the best? It really boils down to a you making them feel comfortable. right? it boils down to you know how many property owners can you make feel comfortable with you and the only way to do that is to be comfortable with them if you're comfortable with them they're gonna be comfortable right back with you so the bottom line is that you gotta work hard you have to keep grinding it's not easy but dreams do come true and I'm a testament to it before I started selling 100 properties a year I went through hell Trust me, I've been through whatever you've been through in real estate and worse. So I'm here to tell you that it's worth it. Keep pushing and just realize that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but when you get there, you got to keep grinding. I'm still grinding just as hard as ever, and I just don't see any point where I'm going to stop or even that I want to stop. That's the thing. I don't really care about stopping. I'm not trying to figure out an exit strategy. I'm not trying to put together a team so that I can step back out of the business. I want to stay in the business as long as I can. I want to be grimy and gritty. I want to be in the middle of all the hardest stuff going on. I want to be the guy negotiating those inspections. I want to be the guy getting 95% commission on every single deal that comes through. So I hope this video finds you well. I hope you got something out of it. And if there's ever anything in the world that I can do for you, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. Click subscribe below. Leave me a comment. Like it. Dislike it. Um, and just let me know how you feel because I'm here to stay. I want to help you guys succeed. I want to help you through whatever problems and struggles you're having. And I just think that Real estate is simple but not easy and that all of you can do it. It's not hard. You just have to have the right mindset focused around relationships and not the deal. So you guys have a good rest of the day. We'll talk to you soon. And me and Christy will holler at you.